I've tested out quite a few different ergonomic mice trying to find the perfect setup, and this is what I found works best for me was this set of devices. Each one has something that was kind of bothering me though, so that's where 3D printing comes in. First up is the DXT vertical mouse. The only thing that I didn't like on this was I found this thumb rest to be slightly insufficient. I personally like to be able to press down a bit and also to move the mouse with just this finger if I want. It's just more comfortable. So for this I created a simple thumb rest that just slots onto the mouse and it doesn't interfere with the function since it's just wrapped around the outside edge. Then that gives the thumb kind of a cozy place to sit. It's easy to move and just a little bit more comfortable for me. First I started out using a flexible filament. So the design was originally tuned for that, that I had to have support material and it wasn't fantastic there. Also, it doesn't slide quite as well as a rigid filament. And just overall, I didn't love the feel. So I went through a couple of different shapes here and then I switched to the matte fiber HD PLA filament. So I had to refine it somewhat to get it to fit on here. That's how I scratched up the front if you try this model. Make sure that you polish the inside or make sure it fits properly with your particular filament before installing. It's got a bit of a gap here but that doesn't affect the functionality so I decided not to worry about fine-tuning that any further. Next up is the Kensington trackball. This is my favorite mouse overall. I really like the trackball function with this very large trackball since I can use any of my fingers to operate it. It has four buttons that are programmable for different programs so that's very useful to have a different function for these buttons depending on which software I'm working in. The only problem I had with this though is that it doesn't come with any sort of a palm rest. The other version, not the slim blade, it does have a palm rest but I didn't like that shape as much so this isn't too bad but personally I feel more comfortable having my hand up a little bit higher. Also I had a tendency to press these buttons by mistake because I was resting my hand on the buttons. So for this I just printed a piece that fits over top. It's angled to fit around the shape so that it doesn't slide around and then that's just a place for your hand to rest. I also tend to sit with my arm rests up pretty high, so my hand is coming more from above. So this is perfect with regards to the positioning, but I think maybe it does need a little bit of refinement, possibly a piece that goes underneath so that it won't move around too much. But overall, the functionality is there, and then I can just tweak that a little bit as needed. So now this is really comfortable to use for long periods. One thing with the trackball, when I first got it, it was a little bit squeaky, which was kind of annoying. But if you just rub your hands on it, the squeaking stops. It's just very smooth. Next up was the 3D mouse. This is for 3D navigation. Now I went for the least expensive option, which was just this compact one. So you only have the two buttons plus the navigation device. In the end, I found that I really need some more buttons, so I won't have to constantly keep going back to the keyboard. I started out just having a small keyboard on the side. However, this moves around when I'm trying to press it. It's never in a consistent location, so it's a bit annoying to keep track of where the buttons are that I need to press and then press them without it just sliding away. So for this I printed a holder that will grab onto the keyboard and just slide under the space mouse. There's a bit of a brim here so that it is very stable. This doesn't move around at all in the side to side direction, but you can rotate it to get the perfect position for the keyboard. There's a small piece of foam in here so it will grab on tightly to the back of the keyboard. It's a bit curved so that accounts for that curve and makes it nice and snug. This just snaps in place and now you can just press buttons as needed without it sliding away. This keyboard is great because it has mouse buttons here also. So for some programs, I have my Kensington program to not have a right click because I'm using the buttons for other purposes. So when I'm using Premiere Pro editing software, I'll just use the right click on the keyboard versus having that on the regular mouse. This one I don't have any iterations because I pretty much got it right on the first try. Other than I wasn't originally planning to put on that piece of foam, it was just a little bit loose when I printed it out and I thought that would solve the problem which it did and in the end it worked out better than not having the foam because this is really easy to slide the keyboard to get different areas of the keyboard within reach depending on what sort of shortcuts you need for different programs. With the space mouse, I definitely don't use it just for 3D modeling. I use it all the time because it's really nice with uh, Photoshop, for example, you can zoom in and out. Now I have a very old version of Photoshop back before it was cloud, it's like CS3. And it does still work with that, although occasionally it will disconnect and I just have to unplug it or restart Photoshop. It doesn't work with my old version of Illustrator for some reason, but just overall for scrolling web pages and whatnot. I think it's easier than using the scroll wheel, although the scroll on the Kensington is really nice. The next device is my most recent addition. It's a Huion graphic tablet. This pen will move the cursor just like any other mouse. And I like it because when I'm working in Photoshop, I can save myself a whole lot of clicks and strain on my fingers just by being able to click and drag using the pen function. So if I want to put in a mask or remove a background or something, this is far more comfortable. And also it's just easier to use for that type of functionality. It has some buttons at the top that I don't love because 
when you press them, say if it's programmed for making the brush larger or smaller, you have to press it each time for each increment versus being able to hold down the button on a keyboard. So that's a bit annoying. But the overall concept of the tablet is really useful. The other thing I didn't like here is that the buttons that are on the pen, I can't seem to keep track of them without having to look down. Of course, you can tell which way it's oriented if your hand is up here because you can feel this flat portion. But when your hand is down here, if it's rotated every time you set it down and pick it back up, I have to re-find the buttons with my thumb. So for this, I needed something to indicate to my hand without having to look where the pen was oriented. So I just printed this small thumb rest here and this just slides over top. It can be rotated to whatever position is comfortable. And then from that point, I always know where the button is in relation to this piece. Also, when I set it down, it doesn't roll away and I can pick it up and immediately feel the correct position for my thumb to be able to press the buttons. Now, I did go with a very small size tablet because I obviously have a lot of devices I'm fitting on my desk, plus a separate keyboard for the computer so I can have my laptop raised up. So ultimately what I want to do is extend the surface. Not the working surface, this is fine for anything that I need to do. This is plenty of working area. However, it has this little bit of a lip around the edge, which I find rather uncomfortable because if I need to go all the way out to the edge, my hand is scraping along that ridge. I have to basically set my hand on the table to be able to use my mouse over here. Whereas I would like this to just be a continuous surface that blends seamlessly into a hand rest on all these sides. So that's something I want to improve in future. But for now, this was the number one thing that was bothering me with this, not being able to find my orientation and use these buttons. It does occasionally disconnect and I just have to unplug it and plug it back in to get the buttons to work again. I'm not sure why that is. However, I've had that happen with my space mouse too. So I have a suspicion that this is related more to my computer versus any sort of issue with the device itself. But it's just something to keep in mind that if that happens, you just have to unplug it and plug it back in and then the functionality picks right back up. The tablet could also be used to do any sort of standard mouse navigation. It's a bit different from a standard mouse though. You don't have to drag it to wherever you want the cursor to go. It just needs to come within 10 millimeters of the device and your mouse will magically appear right there. And then when you actually touch the device, the pressure here triggers a click to move items around. Like if you want to move a folder or move an item within your program. Now, I didn't have any problem with that. It's just something to be aware of. It's actually pretty nice. And this pen is battery free, so it doesn't ever run out of batteries. You don't have to worry about charging it. So that's convenient. To mock this up so I could figure out what I needed, I just used some blue tack and had that on there just to get an idea. And then I just printed out a few different versions until I got one that fit properly. Now this, I may end up replacing this rubber wrapping around the grip. I don't think it's really all that comfortable and it gets stuff stuck to it. Dust really sticks to it. So I may in the end make an entire integrated piece, but for now this is good. And I will say that once you start getting this many different devices, USB ports become few and far between. So I started out with an expansion that had just three ports, thinking that would be sufficient. And this one's also nice because it has space for micro and full size SD ports. But once I got the tablet that just put me over the edge, I didn't have enough ports anymore. So I got this Amazon Basics one, which has a ton of ports and it satisfied all the needs I had for multiple USB drives plus all these devices. This is how I would typically have all the devices set up. They're all at my computer, even though I'm not using them all at the same time. I'll use the tablet as a mouse pad for the DXT when I'm not using the tablet. And I did notice that it was causing some scratches onto the tablet surface. It wasn't anything that damaged the functionality, but it did make it look pretty scratched up. And I believe that that was the on off switch was a little bit too long. So I used the Dremel to sand that down slightly. And now it works on the tablet as a mouse pad without causing any further damage. And then I've got my separate keyboard that's placed behind everything. And then of course the computer would be behind that raised up on something. Now, right now I'm just using a paint tub to prop up the computer until I build a proper stand for that. That way I was able to verify the correct height for my setup before spending time building something or needing to get something that's adjustable. If I need to use the pen, I've just got that setting between the devices and I can just grab that, move the DXT out of the way, use the tablet, put it back when I want to use the vertical mouse again. And this is where I would like to turn this entire center portion into a single work surface with the top plate and the tablet underneath and the mouse can go on top of that. That way I can just cleanly draw off the edge without catching on the lip. I've tried out a bunch of different mice in the past, but these were the ones that have stuck around and worked well for me over time. So based on my experience, I would recommend any of these devices to try if you are looking to create a more ergonomic setup. So hopefully this has been helpful and I will post a link to the files for these 3D printable modifications and also to any of these devices if you want to check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.